Hi, welcome to Fly Tying Tonight. I'm Brandon Moon with Leland Fly Fishing and today we're going to be tying up an egg laying black balloon caddis pattern. Very effective, easy pattern to tie and we're going to introduce some new materials for you in this pattern. So stay tuned and watch the video. Thank you. For the hook on this pattern we're going to use the Moonlit Premium Tagata ML 211. We're tying a size 14. You can tie this for some larger caddis in 10 all the way down to a 16 for some smaller ones. The thread we're going to use is Semperfly's Classic Wax A dot. I'm starting out with the floral green thread and I'm going to start that about three quarters on that hook shank and I'm just going to wrap and create a nice smooth even underbody on this and we're going to wrap all the way down into the bend of that hook because this this pattern is going to sit lower in the water column and so we want to go down that that hook bend just a little bit. I'm just going to take and trim out that tag end of thread. Now I'm going to take and with my thread I'm going to wrap and create a little bit of a bulge in the thread there at that butt end for my egg sack. Once I've done that I'm going to take my whip finish tool and I'm going to whip finish right there at the base of that bulge and egg sac. Trim out that thread. Once I've done that, I'm going to take and move and adjust that hook in my vise just a little bit. I'm going to take some Solarez UV Thin Hard and I'm going to put a little tiny bit on here. I don't want to make too big of a, a bulge, so I'm going to use just a little bit and move it around. You can see it's kind of bulged there. I'm going to rotate this vise just a few times just so that I can even out that resin before I cure it. So I want a nice even bulge and egg sac. Now we'll just cure that with our UV pen for just a few seconds. Once that's done, I'm just going to adjust that hook back in my vise so I can finish tying the body. I'm going to use Semperfly's ADOT Classic Wax in black here. And I'm going to start that just in front of that green thread. And then I'm going to lay a nice even underbody again over the top of the green. We're going to go nice and easy because I want a nice smooth taper. I'm using 8-aught thread instead of 12-aught, which I usually use because caddis flies generally have a little bit thicker body. So the, the thicker thread is going to help me build up a little bit more body mass in here. I'm going to take a Magpie Premium Wild Barred Turkey By It in Gray Drake. And I'm going to tie that in after I've moistened it with the ridge point just on the base on the bottom side of that hook. I'll secure that in. I'm going to go forward and backwards about four times to create a taper to this fly. So every time I go all the way up to the front and then I'm going to go back about three quarters of the way and then stop and go forward again. And then I'll go back again stopping short of where I stopped the last time and then forward again backwards one more time and I want to make sure that I create a nice smooth even point here where that bias going to end up so it doesn't slip off. I'll half hitch this here so I can use the rotary feature on this vise to wrap my turkey bias. So I'm going to take the Loon Ergonomical Hackle Pliers are my favorite for wrapping bias. I'm going to wrap that with that ridge point on the back side of the fly with open spiral wraps to create a nice good even segmentation on this body. I'm going to wrap that so that it goes all the way up there nice and tight. Now I'll take my thread and secure that down. I'm going to go over the top two times just to tighten that in nice and good. 
set that thread off to the side. I'm going to remove my hackle pliers and I move the thread to the side so that when I snip this out with my scissors that I don't take and snip out my thread. We'll secure that down nice and good. Now we're going to take some Moonlit Zero Gravity Bright Orange Thread. This is going to be cut just about the gape of the hook. I'm going to adjust that hook one more time so that it's a little more flat here. And I'm going to use some wraps to secure that foam down. And I want to go all the way up to the eye of the hook. I'll just double check, make sure I'm not going and crowding that eye too much. I'm going to secure that foam down nice and good now with some thread wraps. Then I'll go back to the body point with my thread where I'm going to take some hogfish, teton, hog wing, and I've got a small clump. I'm going to tie that in and I'm going to measure the tips out when I tie this in so that it goes just back to past that bend of the hook, past the egg sac. I'm going to double it over. And since I wrap that forward, I can take some loose wraps and just secure that in. This is going to give me a nice, good, secure wing. It's not going to pull out. We'll trim that out nice and even. For the thorax on this fly, we're going to use Semperfly's Kapok dubbing in black. This is a great dubbing for dry flies as it floats 30 times its body weight. I don't need a lot because I've already got mass from the materials in here. But I just want to cover up the materials with a little bit of dubbing. So we'll put a small little dubbing rope on the thread. And it might take two, two things of dubbing noodles or ropes as you might call it. So we'll add a little bit more here. And finish off going back to where the wing starts. And this is where we're going to take and pull the foam over to create that balloon look on this caddis. I'm using the bright orange so that I have an indicator on this as well. So once I've secured that down with a couple wraps, I'm going to take and whip finish this with a couple whip finishes. And then we'll snip out the thread. I like a razor blade to do that a lot of the times. Now we'll just take that foam and I'm just going to cut it straight across. And then I'm going to take and cut some angles for a V shape on this. And that'll just give you a nice little wing over there. And there you have the egg sucking black caddis.